Hi, I'm Caitlin Saylor. Welcome to my Upper West Side apartment. So this is my entryway. It's one of my favorite places in the whole house. This whole space was inspired by this piece of art. It is my favorite thing in the whole apartment and one of my favorite things in the world. My little brother had childhood cancer and he passed away when he was 14. This is a piece of his art that he did in fifth grade. The art project was their take on a famous piece of art and he chose Starry Night and this is his rendition of it. And I just love it so much. I got it you know, professionally framed. I get so many questions about this piece of art just this morning I got a comment on one of my Instagram posts they were asking for like his art account and if he does commissions and he did this in fifth grade it's fun it's colorful and it just made a great inspo for this whole space I love these storage ottomans they're from Wayfair I keep blankets and some shoes in them these wall sconces are renter friendly they are from West Elm I didn't have to hardwire them or anything they plug in I hid the plugs I'm a big ruggable gal especially for the entryway you know New York shoes get quite dirty so it's nice that I can just throw this in the wash. So this is our living room dining room-ish space. When we first moved in, it was a blank white box. One of the first things I started with was this renter-friendly wall molding. I think it just adds texture and dimension to the walls. So one of my favorite things in this whole room is my butterfly lady. She is from Scout Design Studio. They have really unique pieces that you wouldn't find anywhere else. It was just a really great focal piece for this whole room. So this mantle is a Facebook Marketplace find and it is actually Josh Young's, who is an interior designer and artist. I tiled the inside. This is a renter friendly hack. It is actually on a piece of poster board and it's just peel and stick tile. So I love this coffee table too. It's from Anthropology, and it was a little bit of a splurge, but it's neutral enough that I can have it for a while if my design style changes, but it's funky enough that it fits you know, my, my style right now. And these candles, I always get asked about. I love them. It's from a brand called Visions. So this is my life's opus. It is my gallery wall and our frame TV is in the middle. It is our travel wall. This is Costa Rica, Paris, Miami, Amsterdam, Amalfi, Houston is where we're from. Making memories and, and displaying them as art is what I really like to do. So this credenza is from West Elm and it kind of blends in while making a statement. This mirror, I always get a lot of comments on. We are from Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh is boring is kind of an ironic saying that Raleigh people have. I think that it was something to do with going against Charlotte and we didn't want Charlotte people to come into Raleigh or something like that. I don't even know the origin, but Raleigh is definitely not boring. And this mirror actually cracked in the mail when we got it. And so we brought it to a Raleigh artist and he did this and I think, it's, I think it's really cool. So the last little space in this living area is our dining area. It's just my husband and I, so we really just needed a place that we could sit. I wanted it to make it like its own little corner instead of feeling like it was part of the living space. This art is from a brewery in North Carolina, Fontaflora Brewing. This vase is from Saletti. They have really unique and fun pieces. And then the dining table and chairs are just from Wayfair. This was probably my biggest project of the whole apartment. When we moved in, the floors were just really old tile. The walls just needed love and the cabinets were like this red brown color that I just really didn't like. So everything in here is basically peel and stick. The floor tiles are peel and stick from Etsy. This really fun wallpaper is peel and stick from Spoonflower. And then my biggest secret in here is that I did contact paper over the cabinets. This is what they used to be, and now they're white. It took like 45 hours to do everything, but I persevered, I got it done, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. My landlord was okay with it. He didn't want us painting, but this contact paper peels off fine. We've tested it a bunch of times, and 
I'm, I'm, I'm happy with my white cabinets now. I don't do a lot of cooking in here, but my husband loves to cook, and we needed some more counter space for him to sprawl out and make the huge mess that he usually makes. So I got this table from Wayfair, and I did marble contact paper over it, and then these renter-friendly, you know, just floating shelves. I like to, you know, display some of my prettier items up there. Another renter-friendly piece that I changed is the faucet, and I think that's all in here. So coming from the kitchen into our little hallway, we have our one bathroom. And again, this space is small but mighty. I did what I could in here. I painted, added some art, I changed the faucet, I changed the light fixture, added a fun shower curtain and some storage. It turned out cute. I think it's the cutest it can possibly be for a tiny little bathroom like this. So this is our bedroom. We do have two bedrooms, but I'm not gonna show you the other one because it is just full of everything I don't want you to see today. This is my husband and I's bedroom. It gets a lot of light. I wanted to keep it bright and airy and not have as much stuff in here as my living room. I kept the bedding white, the walls white. This light fixture is from Home Depot. These are my pillows that I love. It's just a fun pop of color against all the white. They are by Laura Park Designs, who is in North Carolina. And it's easy to make our bed. I'm not like tons of throw pillows kind of girl, so we can just fix the quilt and then throw these on there and we're done with it. This dresser is from Wayfair. And this mirror is the non-broken version of the Raleigh is boring mirror out there and it is from anthropology i love a candle warmer i'm notorious for leaving candles burning when i leave the apartment so these candle warmers are quite literally a lifesaver i love having faux florals so that i don't have to deal with them dying all the time so these are nice just from amazon these are watercolor pieces from local north carolina artists that i just think are cute this is my dog that passed away two years ago. His name is Pete, and one of my best friends had her dad, who's an artist, paint him, and we just love him, you know, being in New York with us. So this is my side of the bed. I love these little candles. They make me so happy. I got them at some local boutique here. This is my favorite New Yorker cover for obvious reasons, a pissed off Frenchie wearing shoes. It doesn't get much more Frenchy than that, and it looks just like Lou, and I love having her next to my bed. So that's my apartment. I hope you liked it. You can find me on Instagram at Caitlin Saylor. You can find links to everything. You can find details on everything. And I would love to have you follow me.